Okay, so Secret Heart by uh, Ron Sexsmith. Probably a lot of people have not heard of this song mm -hmm. or even heard of Ron Sexsmith. He's a Canadian singer-songwriter, mm -hmm. and he's been around for a long time. He's got a lot of albums out, and mm -hmm. he's just a really great songwriter. You know, he's got some really good songs. This one came about because I was actually watching X-Files uh, last week. The title of the episode was Babylon. Great episode, by the way. And uh, at the end of it, near the end of it, one of the characters, uh, Agent Miller, he's listening to something on his iPod, and you hear it, and it's this song, Sacred Heart. And or Secret Heart. I thought it was Sacred Heart at the beginning, but it's Secret Heart. And of course, I've never heard this song before. And as soon as I heard it, I thought, wow, you know, what a beautiful song. It just kind of blew me away at how good it was. Also, it fitted perfectly with the show, right? So, you know, immediately get on the computer and and find, I mean, I could tell it was Ron Sexsmith, but I'd never heard the song. So I just, you know, I listened to it like 10 times in a row because I just thought, wow, what a great song. So I thought maybe a lot of other people thought the same thing, so I, I'd do this tutorial on it. Anyways, uh, and just before I get going, I, I know my thing is not to talk too much, but Ron Sexsmith has some great songs. Um, and one of them, maybe uh, his best song, just an absolutely awesome song, is uh, Golden Them Hills. And if you like this song, uh, you're going to love Golden Them Hills. Okay, He's done other stuff too. He's, um, he's been involved with Emmylou Harris. And actually Golden Them Hills, Chris Martin sings on it, the guy from Coldplay. And uh, yeah, he's, he's one of those guys that's had a ton of critical acclaim. And he's really admired by guys from like Elvis Costello, Paul McCartney. A lot of people really are you know, aware of Ron Sexsmith, and they love him. But he's never had that big commercial hit that's put him over the top. But um, like I said, if you like this song, check him out, because he's really good. Kind of similar to McCartney in a lot of ways, you know, his composing, really good songwriter. Anyway, so we're in the key of C for this one. And we're going to start out with just a C chord, and it's just picked, you know, with your, with your thumb and, and some finger picking. So we're just going to play that C chord. And then we're going to go, which is, it's like an F, but an F minor. So we're going to bar, and we're going to add this note, okay, uh, E3, which is F minor 9, right? And we just go, okay, so, and then a G, and I just do the G without that you don't need that just you're just muting the a string with this finger okay and then we get into the song so okay and the chords involved are it's pretty standard stuff right it's a, a c f g a minor d minor 7 D minor sometimes, G, okay, and it's just those chords kind of all put together in different ways, so, and when we get into the singing, we're going to start finger picking, right, and the basic kind of pattern, like, there really is no pattern to this, you know, He's just, um, he's not really that kind of a musician. He's not a real, oh, it's got to be this exact thing. It's, he's just kind of, you know, I would guarantee you he plays it different every time he plays it. It's mostly just the chords, you know. But on the recorded version, he seems to go. So we've got uh, A string, D string, and then B string, G string. Then we change to an F. G. Okay, so you know you could you can pick it any way you want it really, right? Okay, so F, then A minor, and then D minor seven and G. Or the way he picks that part is and then open G before he hits that low, the low note, right, so. And 
then we go back to the C, F, G, A minor, D minor, G, and then we've got this. And on the record, that's what he's doing. It's a hammer-on on, on uh, D2, open G, and then hammer on the D and the G on the second fret. Put a little vibrato on there if you can. Now, on the record, the bass is going. Okay, so if you're playing this by yourself, you might want to do that, right? So we're going to do that. Hammer that uh, D string. When we hit the G, we're going to hit the B on A2. Then, as we hammer those two, we're going to hit the A. Right? And then F. And then back to the beginning. it goes into the second verse. And in the demo, I didn't include the second verse because I wanted to cut down the repetition. Um, but So I went straight into like the bridge. So I'll just play that whole verse for you, kind of slower, so you can kind of play along. So it's... So C. F. second verse but after the second verse we're going to uh, the, the, the bridge okay so it's from here okay then we go to F and he does just this just an arpeggio from the first four strings right this very secret heart right and then up to a G same thing same four strings right and then we go to a C, and he does this like, which is, right? But use our little finger to get that F note. And our middle finger to get the A note. I mean, again, you could do anything you wanted there. I, this is kind of key. Do it again. And then now we're back to sort of the intro riff. And then we get into this an instrumental section, right, where he's just... Right? And that's just... Open E. Well, we hit the G string, or the G note on the E string. And he does this kind of... Okay, so... And you could you know, play that G note in there, right? Okay. 
So. So we're just, you know, playing the melody basically, right, with the chords. And once you start mucking around with these chords, you'll be able to pick that out fairly easily. I, think. I don't think I need to go note for note on everything, right? So we take it just that look before the solo. say if you're playing it alone you can want to get that in there but on the record it just That's it. Uh, you know, this is kind of one of those songs that, that is more just, you just play the chords and you just see what happens. You know, you don't need to be specific about, about what notes are here and there, right? So, you know, uh, it's really based more on the lyrics and the melody, I think, than, than the guitar part. But I just thought for people who had heard it on the show and maybe wanted to know how to play it, uh, I'd put a lesson up. And uh, also, I forgot to mention, you know, um, Ron Sexsmith uh, does something with Bublé too. I uh, can't remember the name of the song, but it was on one of Bublé's albums. So, anyways, um, and like I said before, check out that song, Gold in Them Hills. It's a really, really good song. Uh, you know, amongst a lot of others of his, You Drive a Hard Bargain, which I think he uh, was M.B. Lou Harris, um, did that, I think. Uh, I can't really remember, but if you go to the Wikipedia uh, page on Ron Sexsmith, you can find out all the details. And I'll put a link to that in the description box below. Okay, all right. Thanks for watching this. Hope you get something out of it, and uh, talk to you next time.